Welcome back to another season of Golf Tips here on Sunday Sports Central. I'm Virgil Herring, PGA Teaching Professional here at West Haven Golf Club in Franklin, Tennessee. And today we're going to be using my inner Johnny Cash to talk about the driver. And we're going to make this song a medley. She used to love me a lot to a thing called love. The first fundamental that we have to have when we're hitting the driver is we have to remember that at setup, we have to pre-set up ourselves to hit up on the golf ball or we have to make sure that our spine tilt points at the back of the golf ball. Probably the most common error that I see in all of golf is people that hit their driver and their spine is too straight up and down because that would only make sense, right? But that gets them set up to come over the top and hit the slice and the slice is why I got a job. So let's just remember, get the spine tilted back so that it points at the back of the golf ball. Now from here, we're only gonna be thinking about two things when we're trying to hit great drives. We wanna feel like we make a swing that we turn our shoulders over the inside of the back knee, so about a 90 degree turn. And when we follow through, we wanna make a swing that the belt buckle finishes facing the target and we're in balance. Your speed limit is balance. And that's a thing called love. Remember your three tips to the driver. Get the spine tilt point at the ball, finish your backswing turn, and follow through with your belt buckle facing the target for longer and straighter drives. I'm Virgil Herring, PGA Teaching Professional. Stay with us next week for another tip to improve your game. Hi, I'm Virgil Herring, Director of Instruction here at West Haven Golf Club in Franklin, Tennessee. And today, we're gonna work on putting. So I decided to wear all black and channel my inner Johnny Cash. So Johnny's got me inspired to walk the line. So I'm gonna teach you how to read greens and we'll learn how to walk the line. Imagine we're inside the clock. Okay, so putting straight up the hill is six o'clock, putting straight down the hill is 12 o'clock. So first thing you wanna find out, is your ball below the hole or above the hole? My ball is below the hole. So I'm gonna start at about four o'clock and I'm gonna walk until I find the bottom. When I find the bottom or where it's flat before I start to walk back uphill again, this putt is dead straight up the hill. So this is six o'clock. Well, my ball is at eight o'clock. So that means the ball is going to break back toward the hole or to the right. So I now know the direction that it's going to break and I can guesstimate off of the slope how much it's going to break. Every major golf ball company places their logo on the ball and the name brand of it in a straight line. So you can use it as an aiming device. So I like to place the ball behind my mark and aim the line directly at the aiming line. So for me, I'm playing this two inches outside the hole. So that allows me to use the line of my putter to line it straight up with the logo that I've already pre-aimed. I now am confident that I'm aimed exactly where I wanna go. And this allows me to focus on the most important fundamental of putting, which is to hit at the right speed. By channeling your inner Johnny Cash, you'll start to make more putts. I'm Virgil Herring, PGA Teach Professional. Stay with us next week for another tip to improve your game.